Welcome to a demo video of Carry by AppScript.com. Now, in this video, we are going to show you the Institute feature of the app, and we are also going to show you how to make a corporate booking. So, uh, firstly, I come to the Institute's page on the left hand side over here. I'm already on the Institute's page, and the first thing I will do is add a new Institute. So, we go to Add and enter the type of Institute. name of the person at the institute, email ID, yes, and the password, and your main contact person at the institute. Your address, which is taken from Google. phone number of the institute where I put my own phone number and your tax number set your billing address as the same and your soft limit and hard limit the soft limit and hard limit are limits that the customer can book trips with with his corporate profile on the application and now once you submit the institute is added and there you go the first institute is what we just created now the next next thing that you need to do is add users for this particular institute now to add users I go to the add uh, I click on the number which is zero and then I go to add and here I enter a user for the institute So while adding a user, I enter my, my first name, my last name, my email ID and my phone number. So since I've already added this, it won't work. I'll add my personal ID. So I've added a user for this particular institute right now. And the next thing that I will do is go back to my, uh, first of all, I've got a mail that this institute has added me as a user and it gives me the uh, details on how to make bookings via that institute or in other words, make corporate bookings. So. Going back to the Institute's page, uh, now what has to be done is this Institute account has to be linked with the customer's original account. The linking can be done either by the customer and a verification can be done by email or in our case the linking is going to be done from the admin panel. So I will open a new link with the customer's page over here where I will have to go to my customer's profile and do the linking. So I'll pick my customer's profile here. And as you can see, I have something called a customer ID. I copy that and I have to click on link and enter my customer ID here. And the customer ID has been taken from the customer's page. Once I submit, the accounts are now linked and this customer can log in to his original account on the application and choose to make a corporate booking while he is 
doing a booking and he will have the option to either make a booking via his original account or using the corporate account. Now uh, on the institutes page, we also have features called zones and charges. Now if you go to zones, it sets the operational zone in which an institute um, user can make his bookings. Now in our case, if you want to make if you want your customers to be able to make institute bookings along one particular region, what you can do is set the region like that. So institutes, institute users can make bookings inside this particular region. I have to give a title. validate my zone and add the zone. So that is the only region in which the institute users can make bookings for this particular institute. And in order to activate it, I have to select the button. And the other feature that we have is that we can set charges for particular institutes for customers. So now if I go to the charges sections for First Institute, it can be customized for each vehicle type. So I have a uh, default charge which I can edit here, and this is for the vehicle type Prime, and I can set it as my default, or I can add a new price in which I select my vehicle type. And all of this is autofill, but I can edit it if I want. And save. So that's how you set charges for customers for particular vehicle types. So when a customer logs into his account, chooses his uh, corporate account and chooses this particular vehicle type, he will get charged a fee of so and so. Now we also have account statements for the institute wallet. So if a customer makes a booking on an institute wallet, the administrator of the app can see an entry for each, um, each booking here. And he, the administrator can also manually credit or debit an institute. So in this case, the, the admin is crediting the Institute Wallet of Sunkin. And uh, as you can see, the, the Institute has a hard limit and soft limit as well. And also the administrator can go to the Institute users and see the users and see the entries that they have made on the wallet. So uh, the administrator can even credit individual users of the Institute. There we go. So this is the account that I just created for the Institute and it has been credited with a balance of 800 rupees. And that completes the Institute model module of the application. And thank you for watching. And just a quick update. Uh, when I updated my wallet for the Institute, I got an, a mail about that. And the uh, email says that the administrator has updated your wallet. Details of the transaction are a credit and the amount is 800 rupees. Thank you for watching and that completes the institute module.